Today, I'm tackling a topic that's troubled many of us. Is overprocessing killing your audio? And if so, how can we fix it? Overprocessing, especially over compression, can really squeeze the life out of your audio, making it sound really flat, lifeless, and even distorted. But fear not, I am here with steps to compress your audio well, common mistakes to avoid, and a course before and after samples in Adobe Audition. So let's dive in. First of all, it's important to understand compression and what it is. Essentially, it reduces the dynamic range of your audio. So that means making the loud parts quieter and the quiet parts louder to achieve a more consistent volume level. But of course, there's a fine line between too much and too little. Let's dive in and find out how we can set threshold and ratio correctly. Threshold and ratio are really the key to good compression and it really determines where the compression starts when you set your thresholds. So let's look at this example here. You can see some audio on my screen right now. And you can see there are some peaks right now and a lot of the audio is sitting down here quite quiet. So ideally I want to take those loud parts, squish them down and make them level with the quiet parts. So threshold is where my compression starts to kick in and squash down the loud parts. You can see that these little peaky bits are sort of going above minus 21 here on the volume meter. So that is a great place to start. If I go into effects and then I look for amplitude and compression and I go for the dynamics effect. Now here, I can make sure everything is at default by selecting default in the presets and I'm just going to tick compressor to get started. Now you'll notice I said, I think most of the peaks are going above minus 21 on the scale. So I'll set my threshold right there at minus 21. And that decides where the peaks of your audio hit the compressor and start squishing down. With that done, nothing is gonna to happen to my audio. If I switch on the before and after mode, you'll see it remains exactly the same before and after down here. But this is where ratio comes in and setting that up can decide how much the peaks get squished, okay? So if I select ratio, usually a good place to start for vocals is either two or three to one for a natural sound. If I select two, you'll see these little peaks get squished down quite nicely. And if I select three there, you'll see the peaks get squished even more. So that's how you can get threshold and ratio correct to really compress and even out your volume. But it doesn't stop there. Attack and release times can be your friend, but also your foe if you set them in correctly, okay? Fast attack times can squash the life out of everything in your audio, while too slow can let too much through. Let me give you an example of how that would work. The attack is set to one millisecond. That is very fast. Now, if I go ahead and increase that to the maximum 10 milliseconds, seconds, oh, those peaks are squishing through the compressor again, naughty peaks. So I've set my attack time too slow. So I need to dial this down. Now, if I dial it down really fast, like 0.1, it's going to really squish everything and maybe squish the life out of my audio. I usually find for voiceover, one millisecond, the default is actually pretty good. And with release, too quick can cause pumping, that woof, woof, woof sound, and we'll listen to some examples in a moment, and too slow will just smother your sound. So you need to get a good balance. And again, I'd say the default here of 50 milliseconds is actually pretty good. Now, if you're really enjoying this video so far, uh, I would love it if you would like this video so more people can see it and learn the mistakes to avoid with compression and how to get it right. You could also subscribe to my channel because I'm always doing videos just like this one. So let's look at some common pitfalls. Overdoing it is definitely a big one with compression. It's easy to compress everything in isolation without context. So you should always reference the full mix you've got. If you've got a voiceover and you're sitting it on top of music, make sure as well as compressing separately, you go into multi-track and you mix everything together so you can hear that the mix sits well. And uh, watch out for using too much makeup gain as well to just think that things sound better. So right now with what I've got here in front of me, I'll actually play this audio that's been slightly compressed with my threshold ratio attack and release setting. Let's listen. Okay, that's like super quiet, isn't it? I can hardly hear that right now because the audio is actually at a very low level and the makeup gain is at zero. So if I were to turn this now up to a makeup gain of 15, you'd see the waveform get a lot louder. And we could immediately think that that, that audio actually sounds better because we've applied 15 dB of makeup gain. So just be careful. Louder isn't always better. Try and listen at low volumes 
and determine that your mix is sounding just right. Now that we've got the basics of compression and not over compressing our audio, let's put it all into practice and listen to some different clips that I've got here and I'll show you the mistakes and how to avoid them. So first of all, uh, we'll listen to this clip without proper compression. Have a listen. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ma'akum al DJM. Okay, so that sounds dynamic but uneven, right? So let's listen to some over compressed audio here. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ma'akum al DJM. So notice how flat and lifeless it feels. And finally, let's listen to the clip and it's compressed correctly. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ma'akum al DJM. Okay, that's much better, isn't it? Consistent, yet still dynamic. And when we compare that between before and after, let's have a listen to the original. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ma'akum al an. And then with just right. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ma'akum al an. Nice and even, you can hear things too much. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ma'akum al an. DJM. So it's all about getting the right mix in your compression. Remember, the goal of compression is to enhance your audio, not to overpower it. So use the tips to find the sweet spot without falling into that trap of over-processing. Just experiment, listen as closely as you can, and most importantly, trust your ears. If I were to finally, as the final tip here, go into the multi-track and put things into practice, let's call this session Mix. I'm going to drag in my just right compressed audio here, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and drag in a little piece of music for track two. Let's have a listen to how it sits in the mix. <laughs> DJM. Now you'll hear that obviously the music is way too loud. So the music is overpowering that compressed audio. This is where you can fall into a trap and say, well, clearly I need to compress that audio further and turn the volume up on the voiceover so it can be clearly heard on top of the music. But that is just going to pump out your vocal, make it sound a little bit awful and essentially blast out the music. So really what you want to do is maybe add a little bit of light compression or limiting to your music and it's very easy to do so here on track two I might go ahead and add in under amplitude and compression a little hard limiter and I might say I do not want this audio to go above minus 6 dB that would be sensible let's listen to that mix <laughs> So still quite loud. So in that case, what I can do is I can take this little tag here, turn it down a bit. And already we're starting to get a decent mix. But if you get frustrated and you're tearing your hair out thinking, I'm trying to adjust all these mixes and I'm limiting the music a bit and I've compressed my vocal a bit, it still doesn't sound right. An easy hack to get everything to sit well in the mix so that you can set your levels correctly is to select all your audio files, all your waveforms inside multitrack, right click, and then you want to look for this one absolutely fantastic tool, which is Match Clip Loudness. And what that will do is get all of your clips to the same perceived loudness. Usually I find setting this to the standard ITU, which is default, target loudness of minus 23, which is default. That will then level your clips. It's taken the voiceover down by 5 dB, the music down by 6.1 dB, and then we can go ahead and further adjust our music and even maybe turn up our voiceover so we get a nice mix. DJM. So there you go. Uh, that is compression and setting things right without over-processing. Now, if you found this guide helpful, I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more audio tips and tricks. If you've got some questions about compression and over-compression, definitely drop them in the comments down below.